Hey, what's going on guys? It's Kyle Watts. Today we're gonna check out the Peter McKinnon travel camera pack from Nomadic and find out, does this thing really live up to the hype? Is it worth like $400? And is it as durable as everyone says it is? We're gonna go take this thing out and test it out and see what it does. Stick around at the end of the video and I'll let you know exactly what I think about it. All right, you guys, welcome back to the channel. So, Peter McKinnon backpack. Let's get this thing opened up and see what it's all about. Uh, how'd that get in there? So right off the bat, the coolest thing is, is they put this thing in like a sweet bag. Uh, it's got the Pete's Pirate on it. So let's just take this thing out. Oh, wait, we're gonna stand up for this one. All right, who doesn't love a sweet packaging, man? That's that's something that's just really awesome about some of these companies is that they take the extra time, they spend the extra money to kind of make a fun unboxing experience. And this comes in like a cool little Ziploc bag. So let's get this thing out of that. And there it is. This thing is definitely kind of, I don't know what you'd use this for, but I might keep it. So there it is, Peter McKinnon Nomadic bag. Uh, it's definitely been in the box, so it's kind of all swooshed down, whatnot. But uh, this is a, this is quite a big bag. This is kind of about as, about the size I expected it to be. Sometimes you see these things in the videos and the pictures, and you're like, this thing looks like it's going to be bigger than me. Uh, this looks, this looks very manageable, but it looks like it's also going to be able to hold lots of stuff in there. The bag that I used to use was this Burton multi-travel bag. Um, you can definitely tell this thing is a canvas bag. It doesn't stand up well, but size-wise, they're not a whole lot different. So the only difference between this Burton bag is this one kind of opens up like a suitcase and it has like different compartments. Uh, I've been really in love with this bag for as far as traveling with putting different things in different spots. Uh, as far as using it for a camera bag, it is kind of annoying that you have to always set it on the ground completely zip the whole thing open and get to the spot that's in a camera bag. It's just not as convenient for cameras. So that's why I'm looking for a new bag. And this Peter McKinnon one just kind of seems like the right choice for me for having a full set of gear with you and lots of accessories, clothing, whatever it might be for, you know, a two, three day vacation. Uh, or just a shoot that you need a lot of stuff. So, all right, you guys, so let's go bring this thing outside and check out how comfortable it is and how durable it is. So, Okay, so we packed this bag now up to about a like three to four day uh, trip with all my gear, more than anything I would probably ever bring to, with me on a trip. So let's kind of get started in here. I left this pocket open on the front. Um, you can put like passports and stuff in there. Um, there is a loop right here. I did notice they do have a little loop that you can like lock your zipper to. So if you ever do feel like you want to put passports and stuff in here, you can lock that. Uh, so let's get into the first compartment here. Um, I actually didn't even have to expand the bag. Um, at first I did expand it so I could close it and then I zipped up the expansion. But, so the first bag is just my clothes. And 
as you can see, I have like a winter hat because I live in Minnesota. If I'm going somewhere on spring break, probably gonna wanna bring a hat for when I come back. And then I have a sweatshirt that I can bring with in case it gets cold. Um, I have a couple different packs here. I have like a toiletry bag, has all my toothbrushes and all that stuff. Um, I can still fit like a airline bag in here. These are just little camera cubes from Amazon. Uh, and then we have a clothing bag. Inside here I have three t-shirts. I have a pair of jeans. I have two pair of underwear. I have three pair of socks. Uh, pretty much I have enough clothes here to last me three days plus the clothes that I'd be wearing. So I have four days of clothes. Um, I left all this empty. I, you know, I haven't had anything to put in here just yet. I haven't gotten creative with it. I left this part empty as well. So let's put that back in here. Like I said, if you have to, you can always pull the open and the expansion so you can get these shut. So there's that part. Uh, now let's look into the side here. I'm running my uh, tripod, my travel tripod. It fits right into this groove. It comes with the straps that you can attach to it. Strap that down. So moving on to the side, we have our camera spot where I can access my camera door. You can take your camera out. You're good to go. I did rig this up so that this wasn't sticking to the door and I wouldn't have anything fall out. So I'm moving on to the back. These straps, when the, this bag is new, seem to be very firm. I'm sure those will break in over time. So off to the side here, I do have my 13-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Uh, this thing will fit like a 16-inch MacBook Pro, but I only have a 13-inch, so this one goes in there quite nice. It's soft in there, so you're not going to scratch it. Now let's open the main compartment. Okay, so this is a ton of stuff that I would probably not even bring on one shoot. I just wanted to put as much stuff in this bag to see if I can. So in this compartment in my zip ups, I have my extra filter pouches. I have a couple different ND filters. Um, I have my, my Rode Lav Go for my wireless Go. Got an extra lens cap. Uh, I got plenty of space still in there. And this side I have uh, a lens cloth. I got my AB splitter so I can run two mics with my with the road cable. Uh, I got some extra cables there. Got some lens wipes. You should always have some lens wipes. Always a good thing to have. Okay, moving to the top. Uh, under the Velcro here I have my iPad Pro. Uh, it comes with the case. I have my pen and everything in there. It fits nicely up top. Uh, in fact, you can put probably quite a bit more and it comes about that deep. So it's moving to the camera section. Now this is where it gets interesting. I have a lot of stuff in here. Uh, I weighed this bag earlier and it actually came out to 33 pounds, including the bag. I'm not sure exactly how much the bag weighs. We should probably look at that too. But uh, starting at the bottom here, I have my... GoPro, little action cam. I got a battery for the drone. I have an SD card case. I have my actual Mavic Air, white card balance set. Now as far as the case for this drone here, I don't feel like I actually need a case because this is the case itself. Um, it's always good to keep these white card balances with you, by the way. So moving on, I have my A6400 with my Sigma 16. And I have this compartment set to fit this better. I got my Sigma 30. I got my uh, 16 kit lens. Um, I, I do keep the kit lens around with the uh, my 6400 because the 16 is a good focal length and I do sometimes like having a stabilized lens for vlogging instead of the, the Sigma, which sometimes has uh, some extra shake to it. Over here, I got my 18 to 105 Sony lens. Moving forward, I have the controller for the Mavic Air. I'm running my RX100 and or Sony ZV-1. Nice little spot there. My Rode Wireless Go set. Uh, Peter McKinnon ND filter, edition two. Uh, I got another ND filter here. Moving up to this compartment here, I got two of my Lacey drives. Uh, and I have enough room to also put a uh, Samsung T5 in there. Nice little squeeze right there. 
which is nice because sometimes you can't find a good spot for those. Uh, up front, I got my rocket blower. Keep one of these in your bag at all times. Um, I don't have the whole mic in here because I'm currently using this mic right now. But my Rode NTG Dead Cat and the NTG mic can still fit in here. Um, I also brought a secondary Rode Micro. It's always good to have a backup for your microphone in case your batteries die or go out. Um, and then I have Gorillapod. Below that, I also have the Weeble S. Now, if you're not planning on bringing all this stuff, you got plenty of room here to put whatever you want, clothes. Um, I'm just running multiple stuff, so have the mic, the, the gimbal, the Joby, the blower. And that's pretty much everything I would ever think about bringing on a trip. Um, in fact, half of the stuff would probably stay at home. I would usually, if I'm going out of town, I'd bring a couple lenses and maybe the drone. Probably wouldn't bring two backup drives. If you're going for a shoot, professional shoot somewhere, you might want to have extra stuff. That's why I also have the iPad and the MacBook. It's just because you never know, maybe you want to edit, start editing when you're on the road. Um, if you're doing daily vlogs, you're obviously editing every single day. But this is how much stuff this bag can actually fit. Um, it is kind of heavy. But, you know, if you're needing to bring this much gear, then that's what you need to have. And all of this stuff still fits quite nicely in the bag. Still have room for more. Um, like I said before, if you are going out of, out of town, sometimes the best option is to leave that uh, expansion closed. So that way you have room to bring like souvenirs and stuff home in your bag. Um, otherwise you run out of room quick, so. Okay, so Peter McKinnon backpack. This thing did really well outside, you guys. This thing has just very obvious quality in the material and the craftsmanship. I got no snow or water inside of the bag, so it, it keeps the elements out of the bag and that's what you want it to do. I have no scuffs on it from throwing it around. It did pretty well. I, I'd say this thing is pretty darn durable. So the pros and cons of this bag that I would say I would have to go over with, uh, some of the pros are, I love just how like they have magnets on everything and you can fit everything that you need inside of this bag, huge pro. So the other pros obviously are the durability, the craftsmanship. Uh, I love the zipper pulls on these things. I like that there's handles on all four sides of the bag, which is super convenient. Wearing this thing was actually fairly comfortable. The bag is big, but it's not too big. I don't know, it, it kind of just fits fits right at least. And I'm, you know, and I'm 5'10", so it fit me very well. Uh, now some of the cons I would say is when it's not full of stuff, the bag kind of deflates a little bit and it kind of looks a little goofy, not a big deal. One of the other cons are is it's a heavy backpack. Um, it's heavy without anything in it and it's very heavy with stuff in it. Um, obviously you put, any, you put all that gear in a bag, it's still gonna get heavy. So can't really blame that on the bag. And one of the other cons I didn't like is you kind of have to work with this corner here because otherwise the uh, the flaps Velcro to this, making it not super easy to open. Um, and then if you do have anything up here the way it was laid out to begin with, you could actually have that thing fall out when you're holding it. Um, wasn't a fan of that so much. I do like the idea of the door here. I just wish they would have been able to have a couple extra Velcros to make that work a little better. Yeah, and then one of the other cons is having something that makes this a little more secure here. Like I said before, there is a little tab here that you can attach that to. You know, even if they made this pocket a little deeper, that would've been kind of nice, so. Otherwise, I really can't say there's many other cons in this bag. Uh, I mean, other than obviously the, the price tag itself. Now, looking at the price tag, this bag came in the way I bought it at $400. Um, it can go all the way up to, I think like $600 if you get all the different features. You can go through it and pick select which ones you actually want. So maybe you don't need the filter case and all the other stuff. Do I think it's worth it? So this is a loaded question. If you have very expensive camera gear and you are going on trips where you need to bring everything with you and like three, four days of clothing, then this is a very good option for a backpack because let's face it, luggage is expensive as well. And it does keep everything very organized. It does keep everything weighted very evenly so that when you're wearing it, it's not terribly heavy in one way. It's not pulling you back. And it does pack quite a bit of stuff in here for clothing. And I thought I had a lot of stuff in here and I actually didn't even have to expand the top. So um, you can obviously expand the top and get even more in there. But uh, $400 price tag, it's expensive. So if you think it's worth it to keep your gear safe and if it's something that you want to spend, then absolutely it's worth it. If you are looking at doing just little day shoots and not planning on traveling with everything piece of gear that you have, 
then yes, it's overkill and you should probably look at something something else. So as far as, as far as my full out opinion on this bag, I honestly feel like I do need to actually travel with it more um, to like in a location to really understand if this bag is good or not for me. So I might have to do another trip or two, but at the time being, I think this is a very good option for myself for kind of like three or four day trips. So alrighty guys, if you have any questions, leave me a comment down below. Hit that like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel so you can follow along to other gear reviews, film tutorials, and as always, we'll catch you on the next one. Later guys.